Hello, and welcome to the sixth video for Course 2. The content for this video comes from Module 6, Working with Multimodal Content. This video will detail the multimodal publishing workflow. Proposals for multimodal works should cover the same ground as traditional proposals. That is as follows. First, the author should clearly present their argument. The proposal should also explain why this work is an important contribution to existing scholarship. As well, it should explain what the structure will be and should contain a proposed date of completion for the project. The proposal should also contain the author's CV. Proposals for multimodal publications need to make their case for why the publication is presented in this format rather than a traditional one. The second state in the workflow is to consider peer review. It is a good idea to have peer reviewers review the proposal and a prototype in a first round and then use the same or some of the same reviewers when the project is complete to ensure that no intellectual or factual errors were introduced during development. The second round of reviews should be focused on quality assurance, with the first review being the hurdle to a contract. Reviewers should be chosen from a pool of experts that can evaluate the intellectual merit of the project. Within that, we recommend that one reviewer is chosen who has had some experience with multimodal projects of their own, and one reviewer is chosen who has not been involved in developing such projects. This strategy ensures that you receive feedback from reviewers with a wide range of digital literacy skills. The overall aim is to recruit three or four reviewers from a spectrum of most knowledgeable in content to most knowledgeable in format, since it is virtually impossible to secure reviewers who could cover both aspects completely. Peer reviewers should be given guiding questions that include questions about design and usability. To accommodate the complex production schedules and high risk in producing a new genre, it is recommended that the contracts are offered after the initial approval by peer reviewers, but before the publication has been completed. Having a second round of reviews ensures the quality of the publication. Issuing a contract at a relatively early stage provides security to authors as well as publishers regarding the amount of work required to develop such a publication. Contracts for multimodal publications are closely modeled on existing contract templates. Now we will discuss production. The production phase is perhaps the phase that differs the most from the process for normal manuscripts. Because content and form are intellectually linked, both need to be developed simultaneously. There isn't a manuscript that can be fully edited and only then poured into the layout. Projects will likely require significant developmental editing. The author should receive feedback on content, form, and technology together to be able to address all concerns. The principles of editorial development are the same as they are in print. The focus is on structuring the work for clarity by identifying the core arguments of the work, arranging them logically, and ensuring consistency. Because a multimodal project is so different in structure from a manuscript, the editor needs to carefully consider why the project is presented as it is. Careful project management is required to direct the different strands of feedback. Because different projects will have different strengths, the emphasis and order of the various kinds of feedback will vary. In this video, we have discussed the workflow for multimodal content. Thank you for watching.